there, my name is Brooke and I am a homeschool mom of two girls. We just finished up our second year of homeschooling and um, they were in fourth and fifth grade and so in the fall they will be in fifth and sixth grade. So just to give you an idea of where we are in our homeschool journey, um, this is an activity that I started with them the first year of our homeschool and um, they were in third and fourth grade at the time. Um, I definitely feel like you could even go younger with this. Um, it's a reading activity and um, if they can read and um, for me I felt like it brought humor into our homeschool and it worked on comprehension and um, my girls enjoyed it and they're they're kind of tough cookies to crack they um they just they don't really love school so <laughs> anyway <laughs> hate to admit that um but they do they do enjoy this and um i would let them do this um like last summer you know on a friday you know hey instead of doing your reading today why don't you you know do this activity and they loved it so um so I just wanted to share that with, share it with you guys. It's free, it's fun, it's easy. Um, there is, it would, it, it's so easy, like it's so simple. Um, so I'm just gonna flip the camera around and um, share it with you guys. Um, first of all, thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy and the comments that you have been leaving are so sweet and I appreciate it. Um, so thank you um, for this activity. And um, the thing that makes it free is you just use um, newspaper comics. And so as long as you are already getting a newspaper, it really is free. Other than that, I think if you knew a neighbor or a church member or somebody um, that would save the comics for you, um, I you know it's still free even if you don't get the paper. So um, okay, now I will flip the camera around and share it with you guys. Okay, so this is how it kind of started out. Well, how it pretty much started out. And um, what you want is you want the single picture and single caption um, comics from your comic strips, from your um, your everyday newspapers. And what I would do is I'm showing this how this is how it started out, and I'll show you how it kind of evolved in within our family. Um, so here's your picture, and it's A. And so then they would have to come down here and read what caption matched this picture. And then they would do the same with all of these and so they would write it out. Um, the thing that I found with this was that it was a lot of work because I would actually glue these on, um, which you know what, you really wouldn't have to I guess, you could just set it down. Um, but I glued them on and it was a lot of work for just you know such a short activity. Um, so what I started doing was putting it into page protectors and so then each girl could do it and if you had more than you know, each each one of your kids could use it, which would be um, pretty handy. Um, but the reason I stopped doing it this way was because it got to be really easy. And so we needed more comics. So I'm just going to slide this over. And so basically what I did was I just started adding in more. So instead of doing four, we would do five and then we would do six. And then we got, we got up to six, we got up to eight. I hope I can. And so we would have all these out and they would just be loose just like this on the table and then they would just have to match it up you see that okay can see that and then they would just they would just physically move the captions and match it up with the picture and they really like this I think they liked moving it you know just kind of that tactile thing going on there and it was more of a visual, I think, just seeing it matched up like this. So they really, you know, I can't say how much, they just, they really enjoyed this. And for me, I felt like they were, it was expanding their vocabulary. It was bringing humor into our home school. Um, they would tell the jokes to their dad at dinner. Um, it was just, it was a fun activity. And as you can see, we did family circus a lot. And we also did Marmaduke. Occasionally, I think there's one called Herman that we would do. Um, a lot of times it was on the back of um, these in the paper, so I wouldn't use that. But I would, I, I would occasionally because those really, they would learn a lot of vocabulary words from that one. But um, thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you so much for all my subscribers. I have some more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you.